about 20 miles from the plant, not lucky enough to live in a beach community, but most of my best friends do. Uh, San Onofre is not a generic nuclear power plant. I don't think there is such a thing, but we are not generic. We're graced with three earthquake falls, the plants on the beach, we have really no real way to evacuate people. And right now, with freeway construction coming up, it's going to close down the I-5 for two years. It's uh, due to a widening thing. Our beach communities are more vulnerable than ever to radioactive disasters. This planned major construction on the I-5 will be from 2014 through 2017. The widening is going to start from San Juan Creek Road and finish just south of Avenida Pico. The I-5 is our lifeline to evacuation. Should, God forbid, any natural or terrorist disaster occur to disrupt the tons of thermonuclear waste stored at Sano, we are trapped. It's bad enough when the freeway is open and running, but with it narrowing down, we haven't a chance. That freeway is the only possible way of escape from disasters to our stored nuclear waste, if any is possible for people living in and visiting our beach communities. So it's up to we locals to stop any further freeway construction that would hinder evacuation from this power plant. And to call us our, our situation generic is ridiculous. It's, it's inhumane. I don't think any other plant has as many earth, earthquake falls to contend with and the other dangers. We need that waste out of here as soon as possible. We didn't ask for it to be there. We don't want it there. It's endangering all of us. Thank you.